I don't know what's going on out there lately, but I have been just slapping mosquitoes right and left. They like pregnant women? Clearly. Uh, I'm like, no, there's so. a baby in here. Well, obviously, it's a <laughs> hassle when you're having to smack mosquitoes all the time. It also can be a health danger, though. News 8's Ken Pierce live this morning in Milford, one city that's got a program. They want to deal with those bugs. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Ann and Chris and Ann. I bet you were not in Milford when you were smacking those mosquitoes because they've been working on this problem for months, actually. And as we come up on the big 4th of July weekend, city officials are going to be out touting how much they have done to improve conditions when it comes to mosquitoes in the city of Milford. Turns out they've been working on this problem since April, where they hired a company to come in and put larvicide in marshy areas and in the storm drains, too. That kind of stops the mosquitoes before they can actually become mosquitoes. As a result, around town. They have zero mosquitoes that are testing positive for West Nile virus and Eastern equine encephalitis. That's the real worry yet. Yeah, the bug bites are itchy and annoying, but it's those diseases that can cause real problems. Actually, nowhere in the state so far have any mosquitoes this year tested positive for West Nile or Triple E. Very good news for the whole state, but there is still more that you can do. You can try to control the mosquito population where you are by making sure there's nothing that holds standing water around your property. Old tires, flower pots, garbage cans, anything like that that can hold water. Mosquitoes can breathe there. And you can protect yourself by not being outside during dusk or, well, right now around dawn. That's when mosquitoes are most active. You can cover up with long sleeves and long pants and, of course, wear bug spray as well. We're live in Milford. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.